welcome back to my channel. So this week's video, I am back. I haven't uploaded videos for a few weeks and I'm planning on filming like an explanation video um, just talking about like what's just been going on in my life at the moment. But for this week's video, I thought I would film my makeup collection video, which is a video that has been so, so requested. So for a little bit of a disclaimer, because I feel like every single one of these videos has one of them, this video is not intended to brag about the makeup that I have. Personally, I don't think that I have a lot of makeup, although it could seem like a lot in comparison to a lot of people out there. All the makeup that I own in my collection, I've either bought myself with my own money or been gifted for Christmas or birthdays. And sometimes I've been like handed them down by like family members or friends. But majority of the stuff I have paid for with my own money, um, all my wages are basically spent on makeup, let's be honest. So if you guys want to see what my makeup collection looks like, then just keep watching. So this is my makeup corner, as you guys will recognise from my room tour, which if you haven't seen, I will leave it linked down below. So all the furniture that is here is from Ikea, I guess. So this is a vanity from Ikea. I'm not sure the name of it, and then this is also a chair from Ikea. It's a pretty famous vanity. I'm pretty sure every single YouTuber out there has one. So underneath my desk, I actually have a bunch of prospectuses at the moment for universities. I think that's the name. Um... Because, you know, uni life, I'm trying to pick some courses. Um, and then I have this box, which I got some lush bath bombs in for Christmas when I was younger. And in here is kind of a bit of a mess, so we're not really going to go into it. But it's mainly where I keep my lush bath bombs and any, like, kind of random bits and bobs that don't necessarily fit anywhere. It kind of just sits there. So this is the overview of what the top of my vanity looks like. On the inside, it has, like, one big drawer, which we'll get into in a second. So on top of my vanity I have these two notepad things. This is a to-do list that I got for my birthday from one of my lovely friends and I just write everything I have to do on here. And then this is a notebook that I got from Tesco's which was so cute. Um, it says a busy blogging on it in like holographic writing and this is my YouTube notebook. So in here I have a list of video ideas that I want to film um, and majority of these I've actually done but I need some suggestions so make sure that you guys like send them my way. So here I just kind of keep all my lipsticks at the top. I have them stacked on these books. I have this braids, buns and twists book which is uh, like a hairstyle book and then I have the two Lauren Conrad Star and Beauty books and then I also have the Lisa Eldridge face paint like history of makeup book. So on top I have my perfumes. So I have this one which is um, Circus, I'm pretty sure, the Britney Spears Circus one. Yep, that's right. Um, and then I also have the Vera Wang Princess, which you guys can see I'm basically out of, and this is my favourite perfume of all times. And then I have this acrylic lipstick holder, which I got for Christmas a long time ago. And in it, I have a bunch of lipsticks, which I will go into depth with now. So my lipsticks, I tried to like colour coordinate, but it kind of failed. I have a couple of these Revlon Colour Stay Lip Butters. This is in the shade Sorbet. And then this one is in the shade Peach Parfait. These are oldies but goodies. If you guys are like OG on YouTube, then you'll remember that those were like all the trend. Um, I have one MAC lipstick. And then I have the Soph X Revolution lipsticks, which are honestly beautiful. Like, look at this packaging. Um, and I have all of the shades. They're very, very stunning. And they have, like, Soph ingrained on it. I don't know. The lighting, you probably can't see. And then I have a Kate Moss lipstick from Rimmel. And this is in the shade 45. This is just a really nice natural pink. I have the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in the shade Tantalising Talk. I have a couple old Makeup Revolution lipsticks back here which I should probably throw out but they're just very nostalgic for me so I keep them back here. Then I have a Topshop lipstick which is in the shade Innocent. And then I've got another of these Maybelline lipsticks and this is in the shade 325 Mauve Mania and it's just a purple this is such a stunning shade to wear in winter. Then I've got a number 7 lipstick and this is in the shade Mulberry. It's not focusing but that's the shade. Um, and then it's just like 
this kind of purpley nude. And then I have another purpley nude shade um, from Rimmel, which is in the shade Glamorous Pink, but it's more of a purple than a pink if I'm honest. Then I have a Benefit and Posy tin and these are honestly so beautiful. And then at the back I have some lip glosses and liquid lipstick. So I have a couple, this is just like a Victoria's Secret one which I keep because it smells so good and then this is a Benefit one. And then I have one of these um, Rouge Edition Velvets from Bourjois and again if you guys are OG YouTube and have been watching YouTube for a while you will know that those were so so popular. And then we move on to a couple mini plant pots which I think were from Waitrose, they're very very cute. Um, so in this white one I just have hair ties and hair bands and a hair clip. Um, so they're just at my disposal for when I'm wanting to braid my hair or like do something with my hair because this is like where I sit where I do that and then this one has some lip glosses in so I've got my um, NYX butter gloss which you guys know I love um, I've got a NYX extreme shine lip cream and this Maybelline lipstick which is stunning and then I also have this Miss Sporty one which is really old but it's a red lip gloss and it's actually really really pretty so I keep those there. And then I have a mirror which you can see my face in it. This is from Ikea and it's got like the two sides. So makes your face look really distorted. But it's really really cute and it's good for when I do my makeup or my hair so yeah. Then I have these two plant pots. This is one from Ikea and then this is one which was a one from Waitrose I think but it's like similar to the Ikea one. So in the small one I just keep all my eyeshadow brushes and like the finer brushes. So I have a bunch of like crease brushes, packer brushes, I have some eyebrow brushes. I have this really weird nose contour one which I need to like test out um i have just a bunch of like detailer ones for cut creases they all just kind of live here and they need a wash as you guys can see they are dirty and then in the big one which is really heavy and packed i have all my face brushes powder brushes highlighter brushes foundation brushes blush um bronzer just a bunch of different brushes, contour brushes, they all live in here and they're really easy to reach so I just kind of keep them there so I can just reach them. So over here I have this acrylic makeup organiser which I bought from Amazon, I will leave a link to it down below. It was actually really really affordable and in here I just keep all my palettes and um, this is a bit more different to the room tour that I filmed originally. I kind of redid my makeup collection since and again the footage of that got deleted too which was really really annoying. On the front bit here I have my Bath and Body Works hand soaps, no that's not what they're called, hand sanitizers. Then I have these Revolution Baked Eyeshadow Palettes. Um, this one is in the shade Chocolate Deluxe and then this one is in the shade Bang Bang. And in this section here I just have like tools. So I have beauty blenders, sponges kind of things. Um, I have this powder compact that came with a loose powder. I have my silicone sponge which I haven't used in ages. Then I have a couple of eyelash curlers to curl my eyelashes with and a couple of setting sprays. So I have the Rimmel Insta Fix and Glow and the Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Spray. So then here I have all my palettes. As you guys can see, I have so many that I probably should get rid of some. Um, so here I have my Naked 2 Basics, which is basically all gone. You guys can see, um, and there's also me, hey. Um, this is a very loved palette and I should get rid of it, but I can't, it's Urban Decay, it's expensive. And then I have the Sleek Highlighter Palette in the shade Cleopatra's Kiss. Again, you can see me because it's mirror packaging. I'm not going to open all of these palettes, but you guys can kind of get the gist. Then I have the Soap Highlighter Palette, which you guys know what this looks like. I have the Revolution Pro Highlighter Palette, which again, you guys know what that looks like. Um, this is my Revolution Pro Magnetic Eyeshadow Palette, which I have all my pressed glitters in which are very very pretty as you guys can see then i have my morphe palette this is the morphe 
15N and this is actually stunning. Look at this palette beautiful so then back here i have some more palettes i have my soap palettes so i have the new soap one the extra spice which i love i can't open it it looks like this and the shades are absolutely beautiful and the paper thingy is really annoying um and then i have the old soap palette which the mirror has come off because I use it so much, but you know what that kind of looks like. And then I have my Revolution Pro one, um, which they all look so dirty. Oh, I try to clean everything. Um, and this is their Gold Mine Regeneration Palette, which is stunning. I love this palette so much. Then I have the Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic 3, which is supposed to be like the Urban Decay Naked 3 Basics, which... I haven't used in so long. I have the Revolution Salted Caramel Eyeshadow Palette, which is kind of like the Huda Beauty Rose Gold one. Um, very, very pretty. Then I have the Revolution Iconic Pro, which looks like this. And this was all when like the Lorac palettes were the rage. And this is like the dupe for the Lorac Pro, um, which was why I bought it. it yeah. Um, then I have a Freedom palette, which, fun fact, Freedom has now been discontinued, so I can't feature this in any of my videos. Um, this is the Today's Tonight palette, and a very, very pretty shade. It's like a pink toned palette. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but it's very stunning, and yeah. Then I have a Old Revolution palette. This is in the shade Flawless, and it is so used. The sheet is basically falling apart. And you guys can see the amount of like times I've used these shadows. And then I've got my NYX contour kit, which I think you guys have seen enough in my videos. So that's what the top looks like. And it's now time to delve into the drawers, uh, the chaos that is my drawers. So all the sections in my makeup collection are organised by these plastic dividers and they're all kind of put into different categories, if that makes sense. So over here I have my base powder concealer foundation section so i have uh my trusty stay matte powder which you guys know i love collection lasting perfection concealer again you guys know i love it and then i have the maybelline 24 hour super stay one which i actually really 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 like i also have their old super stay 24 hour one in a tan shade for when i'm tanned i have the maybelline master prime primer and then i have the revolution pro pore primer and then I have a couple more foundations. I've got the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops, which you guys know I love. The uh, Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation, which I'm waiting to use because it's currently way too dark for me. The Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation, which I use for prom, which is too dark for me. I have the Revolution Bake and Finish White Powder. And then I also have the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Loose Powder as well. Here I have highlighters, bronzers, blushes and cream products which is kind of packed. So I have this Revolution Trio which you guys know is well loved and I'm just using up the last of the highlighter and blush that is left. Then I have a loose bronzer here. This is from Seventeen. It is um, their glow powder. I'm not sure what the shade is in pink bronze and then I have this bronzer from Rimmel this is their radiance brick one which is really natural and pretty I have my along came Betty bronze me up bronzer and highlighter duo then I have my Bobbi Brown shimmer brick and lip kit the lip kit is kind of a bit messed up um but the shimmer brick is stunning then I have an old Revlon blush in the shade marvelous 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 it's very pretty I use that for shows so that's kind of why I have it here and then I have a NARS blush duo um, with the shade Orgasm and Hot Sand in it, which is so cute. It's a little mini one, which I love for travelling. It's very natural as well, which I like. So here I have a couple blushes. I have the Revolution Vivid Baked Blush in the shade Make Love Instead, which is like very, very much cracked and broken um i need to like repress it and then i have a <laughs> then i have a top shop cream blush in the shade licked which 
I have used before on my channel. Then I have a bunch of cream products. So I have a couple of these Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters. This is in the shade Luminous Gold and then this one is the shade Starlight. Then I have a couple Benefit ones. I've got um, Benetint, Posy Tint. I have a couple of High Beams. These are minis by the way. Um, and then I have a... Girl Meets Pearl Mini, a mini of their Do The Hula, which is a bit too dark for me at the moment, but I can make it work in summer. I mean, it is summer, but you know what I mean. Um, and I have their Talk The Tan, which is like a facial tint that kind of makes you look a bit more tanned. Here I have eyebrows, lashes, mascara, liner, kind of that kind of eye thing, I guess. <laughs> I'll start over here. So I have the Alon Came Betty Brow Kit. Um, my Maybelline Brow Drama Transparent Brow Mascara, the Rimmel Born This Way um, Brow Powder. Then I have the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade. Um, by the way, I keep them all in the same thing because I don't have enough of the stuff to justify having its own separate thing, if that makes sense. Because those are kind of like the brow products that I use. I have the Isla Lash Glue, which is like my go-to lash glue. I've got some mascaras. I've got this mini Bad Girl Lash. I also have the Bad Girl Bang. You guys know I love that stuff. It's nearly run out, which makes me kind of sad because I don't think I should buy another one, although it's amazing. I probably shouldn't spend my paycheck on that. <laughs> I have the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll. I have this NYX one, Lash Impact. Uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious one, which... Um, is here to remind me to buy a new one because it's my favourite mascara. I also have this Freedom one. Then I have a bunch of liners. So I have a Glam Crystals one from Collection, which is a blue one. It's very, very pretty. I have the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner. And then I also have the Rapid Black Penultimate Eyeliner from MAC. They're the only liquid liners that I kind of have because I don't really use liquid liners only for shows. And then I have a couple pencil liners. So I have a Rimmel one, which is a like nude one for like water lining. I have this number seven one, which is like a brown one. And then I have a Bobbi Brown one, which is like a dark brown. I have a Lancome one, which is a black one. And then I have this black one from Super Dry, which is so creamy and pigmented. So then here I have single eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows and glitters if that makes sense. So I have a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Yogurt which is a very pretty shimmery pink colour. I have the Collection Glam Crystals Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Aura and this is stunning. And I have a couple cream eyeshadows from Maybelline. This is in the shade pink gold and then this one is in the shade taup I think I feel like that might be wrong creamy beige yeah that's so wrong and then I have this one from Calvin Klein which is on the shade bronze retro bronze um, which is such a lovely bronze color then I have my MAC eyeshadow in the shade gleam which is like the only MAC eyeshadow I own and it's very pretty I have this one from 17 which is in the shade status quo and every time I see this I think of high school musical it's so funny but it's very very pretty then I have a super dry eyeshadow duo which is so cool it like slides out like this and again they're very pigmented and very very beautiful I have a single eyeshadow from Rimmel London it's just like a shimmery white one and it is in the shade jump Q jump I don't know why I read jump I have the NYX glitter primer you guys know I love this stuff and this loose pigment from natural collection in the shade sunset is stunning if you guys haven't used the natural collection loose eyeshadow pigments then you guys definitely need to I have some single eyeshadows from number seven um pretty basic there's like a couple that are like a grey tones and there's a pink and a brown one but I can't be bothered to open them up then I have a couple loose glitters. These are um, from Snazaroo. They are their glitter dusts. And this is a silver one. And then I have a purple one, which um, I use for like face glitter or sometimes on my eyes, depending. Then I have my lip products. So this is lipsticks, liquid lipsticks and stuff. Um, I have a couple of products from Fabulips. I have this lip cleanser and a lip plumper, 
which are very, very good. They just keep my lips clean, I guess. I don't know. I just keep them here. You guys can't tell I'm very much losing my voice today. I have been sick for like a week, so it's still here. Um, I have a Rimmel lip liner. This is the only lip liner I own, and it is in the shade Addiction. Um, it's very, very pretty. It kind of goes with all the lip products I have, so I don't feel like I need to buy a different one. I have a few lip glosses. These are from Benefit. They are their little minis. Um, so I have Hoola, Dandelion, and I have Sugar Bomb. That is Sugar Bomb. I also have a little mini Benny Balm, which is good for throwing in my bag, like, when traveling and stuff. I have a couple of Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms, which again used to be all the rage. I have a red one and a pink one. I have this liquid lipstick, which I got in a birch box. Then here are all my liquid lipsticks. They all look exactly the same shade because let's be honest, I buy the same shades. So this is a Makeup Revolution Pro one, which is in the shade Semblance. It is like a purpley kind of pink it looks like the nars packaging and then i have majority of my liquid lipsticks are from nyx apart from like the odd ones i have a couple nyx liquid sh liquid suede ones i have this one in the shade sandstorm and then this one in the shade soft spoken and then i have a gosh stay in there then I have a couple of their lingerie liquid lipsticks. Um, one is in Bedtime Flirt and one is in Pillow Talk. I don't know the difference. And then I have my Kat Von D Lolita, which is stunning. And I just love the packaging. Then I have the Maybelline Superstay 24 Colour Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Creme Caramel, it says on the bottom. And I have the Revolution Metallic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Buster. It's like a really, really pretty pink colour. And then I have a Vibrant Makeup Revolution Liquid Lipstick from when they had their Salvation Velvet Lacquer Lip Liquid Lipstick line and it's bright pink as you guys can see and I barely wear it but it's pretty and I keep it in there. And then this is the non-makeup related portion of my collection. I like to keep all my nail polishes and nail art kits here. I kind of colour organise them so I have like pinks, um, nudes, more pinks, reds, like vibrant coral reds, orangey reds, more pinks, blues, um, and then here I have all my top coats and stuff, so I have all like my glitter ones, it's, I'm such a nail like freak, I love doing my nails, but you can't really tell, I'm gonna paint them tonight, don't worry guys, um, and then yeah, just like some top coats, um, I have like nail art stuff, um, now push removers, you guys will recognise the stuff if you saw my room tour, so I'm not really going to go in depth in that. And then this section, I kind of keep stuff that I need to try, like new products or things that I get sent. <laughs> I don't get sent anything, but if I get gifted stuff, um, then I have them here. So I have this face mask from, I don't know where it's from, I think it's from Urban Outfitters that my friend got me for Christmas. I have a bunch of random stuff. These are just mirrors. Um... I don't know why they're in here. I have some oil blotting, oil blotting pads. And then I have some extra benefit samples because all my samples clearly aren't enough. <laughs> so then at the back, you may have noticed I have some bits. So over here I have the NYX eyebrow kit, which is a bit too big to put here. So I keep it like tucked in the back and then I also have my eyelashes these are from Bio Cheryl I love these then I have random stuff like deodorant hairspray hair brushes um clear hair elastics for styling my hair um these pots back here I have one which has got hair grips in you guys can kind of see and one which has got hair elastics and hair bubbles and then this one back here has hair clips so that's kind of there and then I have, down here hiding, I have more hair clips and a bourgeois nail polish remover thing. So that is what my makeup collection looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it cool to kind of see inside my makeup collection. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Click the bell next to it to get notified every time I upload and check out all my social media. Links will be down below and on the screen somewhere. I'm very active over there and I'd love for you guys to check me out. Leave a comment letting me know some of the videos that you guys want me to film coming up in summer. I'm so excited. I just got a text. I got a text. 
I'm so obsessed with Love Island. That was so cringe. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.